I'm trying to own multiple bases. Driving the latest bases. Heaven only knows I'm a witness. And the profit gon' come tremendous. I'm trying to own multiple bases. Driving the latest bases. Heaven only knows I'm a What's up? What's good? It's your favorite guy. Your favorite show, Zillionaire. What's popping, everybody? Make sure you like, share, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Now, all of my true supporters and my true followers, you know, um, I'm a voice for men who get falsely accused and wrongfully convicted. You know, a woman could just say, you hit me, you raped me, you did something to my kids, and a man's going to jail, okay, because I've suffered it and I've been through it. Now, these false allegations against Kobe Bryant, the chick just scream rape to get his money, okay, to tarnish his reputation, to destroy this man, okay, and um, a woman can just say anything and a man's going to jail, this is the way society has set it up, where a woman can falsely accuse a man, a woman can just accuse you and everybody say this is who you are, everybody's coming to slander you, everybody's coming to assassinate your character. Everybody's coming to attack you, okay? Now, Amy Schumer, Susan Rice, all these other women are coming out against Kobe Bryant, okay? This Me Too movement thing, you know? They, they're they attacking Kobe Bryant. So they're plotting to destroy his legacy. And this is what I'm going to talk about tonight, false allegations. Men too. What about men who get falsely accused? What about these chicks that lie on men and have men thrown in prison and in jail, you know what I mean? Innocent men are sitting in prison right now because of a woman said something. You know what I mean? Men got stuff on their record because a woman said something. And now his life is destroyed. You know, we don't never talk about that side of the law. We only talk about the accusations, but we don't talk about the false accusations. We don't talk about these men, you know, who are being, how can I put it, destroyed by these women, by these women, just from what they said, just by words. And that's it. Now, the Me Too movement, they're plotting to destroy Kobe Bryant's legacy, okay? Like they've done to Bill Cosby, Michael Jackson. They're trying to do it to Russell Simmons, um, you know. Um, they're trying to get Cuba Gooding Jr. now, you know. Now they're trying to destroy Kobe. I'm like, yo, who's next? Denzel Washington, you know. Now, Amy Schumer is talking about she defends Gail King. Susan Rice coming out talking about she defends Gail King. In other words, they're saying it's okay to slander and to accuse Kobe Bryant, even though this chick was lying on him. Even though this chick was found to have three or four different semens in her. Okay? Even though this chick didn't go to trial and didn't testify against him. Okay? Didn't do any of that. They're still protecting this slut. They're still protecting her. Okay, no matter how much she lied, no matter how much she was a whore, no matter the fact she didn't show up, all this stuff, just because she accused him. Now, like I say, if a black man gets accused, he did it. It doesn't matter if she's lying or not. He did it. She could be falsely accusing him. He still did it. That's just that's just how it is. Oh, she falsely accused him. Oh, he still did it. That is crazy. <laughs> like, I don't get like it, it pisses me off, too. Uh, she was lying. Oh, well, he still did it. It's crazy. Now this 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 trailer park trash, a Amy Schumer, uh, one of the trashiest comedians out. Now she wanna open her big slutty mouth and she wants to attack Kobe and she wants to join in with the Me Too stuff, because she's part of the Me Too movement, Amy Schumer. If y'all didn't know, yes, she's secretly a part of the Me Too movement. And Susan Rice, so this is basically just an attack on Kobe and black men. Back in 2016, Me Too movement, which I found out. Put a petition up. Put a petition up to have Kobe Bryant dismissed at a uh, to be a judge at this festival. And guess what? Their petition calls Kobe Bryant not to be the judge at that festival. They also petitioned to have his Oscar taken away. This is the Me Too movement, and this is a few years ago. They had his Oscar trying to get his Oscar took away, but that part that didn't work. They were petitioning a lot of stuff with Kobe Bryant. You know, they're just trying to take down his, everything he's built, his talent, the, thing, the good things he has done in the community. None of that matters. It's the fact that he was accused. That's it. They don't care if the chick was lying or not. That's why I, with the Men Too movement, men who get falsely accused, 
that's my one of my missions and my plights. Women who lie on men, women who use the system against men because they know that they could just say you did it and you did it, period. They could just say it. Women put men in jail every day, every day. Women destroy men every day. It's a lot of innocent men in jail every day. He hit me. He raped me. He did something to my kids are the number of the, the, the top three accusations. He hit me. He raped me. He did something to my kids. Those are the top three accusations. And you got innocent men in prison now. And you got innocent men in jail. You have innocent men with stuff on their record. And I only speak from experience as you hear how they slander me all over the Internet. Um, so these women are getting together. Getting together. And they're plotting to destroy his legacy, which Gail King was the first spokesman of this movement. To, come on, it was time to destroy Kobe Bryant's legacy. Because remember, he was accused. You know, he got accused of this. So let's all get together. Let's all come together and let's destroy this man. Let's bring this man down and let's destroy everything he's built. Let's see how we can do this. So Me Too movement have been after Kobe Bryant for years. And if y'all, and I want y'all, some of y'all to look this up. They've been trying to take away his medal, all kind of stuff. They, they, they make petitions to get rid of certain things that Kobe Bryant has built. Okay, men too. Men too. Men get falsely accused too. All right? And then that's the name of my, that my movement. Straight like, straight like that, man. The false accusation movement. The wrongful conviction movement. Okay? Straight like that. And it's sad. You know, they go after black men harder. And y'all know this. Y'all, they go after black men harder. It's over a hundred... White men in Hollywood who've been accused, and yet you don't hear about none of this in the media. Kobe Bryant dies, and on, the only thing everybody talks about is what he was accused of. I'm going to say that again. It's a hundred men in Hollywood who've been accused of sexual allegations. You don't hear none of that. A black man dies, or if a black man gets accused, that's all they talk about. That's it. That's it. They try to assassinate his character, destroy his legacy, and they try to destroy the man. It's sad, but that's the society we live in, and that's why I'm going to be a voice for men who get falsely accused and wrong, wrongly convicted. And these women come together, and the Me Too movement is like a witch hunt. It's just like a witch hunt. They're using it to destroy men. They're not really going after actual victims, okay? They're, they're using it to destroy all men. So they can be, how can I put it? So they can be in power and they can call all the shots and they can control men and they can control how everything goes. That's all it is. Because if the Men Too movement, because if the Me Too movement was for victims, what about, you should talk about the women who have been, you know, uh, assaulted or whatever the case may be. And you should talk about the people who've been falsely accused. Okay, you need to talk about all that. You can't just talk about one side. Everything's one sided. That's very run, um, one sided to say we're going to talk about women who have accusations, women who coming out with accusations. What about the women that's coming out lying? Huh? What about them? What about the men who suffer from women who lie? But we don't want to talk about that, though. But a zillionaire is going to continue to talk about that. What about the chicks that lie on men? All right. I'm your boy Zillionaire. But this Me Too movement. It's coming after Kobe Bryant now. And all the women are getting together. You see black, white, they're all getting together. They, they team up. You know, they all team up when it comes to a black man. All the women come together. Come on, let's destroy this man. Let's bring him down. Let's bring this black man down. It never fails. Put your thoughts in the comments. Men too. My voice. Always going to be a voice for men get falsely accused and wrongly convicted. You know, I'm always be a voice for them, man. Because I suffered and I've been through it. He hit me. He raped me. He did something to my kids. And lying like hell, evil, vindictive Jezebels. And men have to suffer. There's no law in place to protect men who get falsely accused and wrongly convicted. And it's sad. I'm out of here. Trying to own multiple businesses, driving the latest business. Heaven only knows I'm a witness, and the profit gon' come tremendous. I'm 
Trying to own multiple bases Driving the latest bases Heaven only knows I'm